from Ozarks First. You're watching Color 10 News at 6. Good evening to you, our top story at 6. Today, Assistant Fire Chief in Harrison, Daryl Pace, talked with Color 10 about the search of Lake Harrison in hopes of finding clues about a missing couple from the city. John and Amy Valines were swept away in flash floods November 30th when heavy rains hit the area. A channel is being dug out around the side of the lake to release water now. Assistant Chief Pace says in addition to dealing with the tunnel in the lake, the rain is posing more problems. Yes, it's very unusual, you know, having search for two people and not be able to find at least one person, you know. This right here is about the best lead we have. We got a deep hole over here by the bridge that's in the water there that we hadn't got down into yet. And it's a possibility that that's where they might be is one of them deep holes or something. It's what we're hoping to find. In the meantime, the family of John and Amy Valines are speaking out for the first time since the couple went missing. Color 10's Crystal Blair spoke with them off camera about this ordeal, and she joins us live in Branson from our bureau there with details. So, Crystal, how is the family doing tonight? Well, Heather, as you would imagine, they are absolutely in shock, devastated and distraught over this tragedy. They said that, though, you know, they didn't want to speak on camera, but they did tell me that right now the most important thing for them is to get closure. So talking... At talking off camera, I was able to speak with John's sister, Amy's mother, father, son, sister and brother-in-law together. And they said that they decided to speak out now because it's time to share with the public just how grateful they are for the overwhelming amount of love and support that they've received and are receiving from the community. They shared how the couple who had been married 11 years were soulmates. They said that it's fitting that the two would go together because they were so close and it would be too hard for one to go through this without the other. They also said they're very grateful to the fire chief for the fact that he said he's not giving up and they're continuing this search until they're able to give the family some closure. Now, as we mentioned yesterday, uh, the assistant fire chief Pay said that they found John's uh, t-shirt, his pants, and a wallet. And he said today that those were the clothes that John had on when he disappeared. The family confirmed that to him because the family was just with John and Amy a few hours before the tragedy occurred. Reporting live in Branson, Crystal Blair, Ozarks First. Crystal, thanks. We'll continue to follow updates on this developing story.